Hi Virgos, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. Remember, um, here you can switch the roles here because I've explained why in last week's videos. Um, and it's not a personal reading, it is a general reading, okay? So let's get started. Virgos, energy into this, in this connection. <clears throat> Hmm. Virgo's connection. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. No bad cards. Um, usually they're darker. They're dark. So, at the bottom of the deck, curiosity. Um, either both of you are not talking right now and you're really curious or they're really curious about you. But there is going to be some kind of, I'm getting resolved, something resolving between you two, I don't know. Both of you are valuing your guys', uh, both of your guys' um, differences here because there's been a lot of differences here in, how do I say, maybe you guys are both don't have a lot in common or probably disagree on something but you both still value that i don't know you, there maybe wasn't a disagreement before and yeah that's what i'm getting and it, i feel like someone here you virgo are more accepting of the situation okay you're more open to finding a resolution a solution to the problem so you're very open virgo i mean like you are up i'm this is not probably gonna be for everybody because we all have an ascended we all have a moon sign but it kind of seems like you're open to giving this a chance you're accepting that both of you are different and um forgiveness you're actually wanting to forgive the person so let's see their energy i feel like also i don't know why i want to say this but if they're willing to talk things with talk, talk things out and get a, an understanding you're um willing to work it out Give me more of this person's energy connecting with Virgo. <clears throat> A new perspective. Target. Oh, okay. Wow, somebody else this week, they got Twin Flame in the same spot, which is weird. Hmm. I forgot which sign. I already did almost all signs. okay so this person felt didn't think that they would fall in love here um they do sense a very close connection with you it says um their thoughts here we have new perspective i'm seeing us with new eyes it's all so clear now and then we have target i'm strategizing to win i won't miss my target this time see they're gonna come because they're also in the uh, like they're gonna probably even ask for forgiveness here if this is someone well yeah someone you've had like conflict with a lot of differences that's what i'm sensing here um so let's see and then we have love strike i have been swept off my feet random unexpected amazing and then twin flame i remember who you are i've loved you before so it's I don't know why if I've recently every time I take this one out I pull this one it kind of seems like they just seem like home to you or they they um, think of you like that they feel very comfortable with you 
let's see what's at the bottom of their deck ending see the problem here the challenge is to get over this painful ending if there was an ending here but it kind of seems like there's a new cycle starting someone had that this week as well a new cycle is starting not sure who let's see give me more of this acceptance for virgo Oh, I have my whole, all my cards upside down. Yeah, it's like you've gone through a purging, an ending here, and you have been crying. So you're really, you're really up for um, revisiting this. That's what I'm getting here and working things out. You've learned the heart. It's like you've gone through a... Um, it's usually learning a harsh lesson here, but I feel like it's more of um, learning to accept differences, um, learning to level up, maybe even working on yourself. Give me more of this forgiveness. Okay, so I get that someone here is going to want to reconnect with you. We have the three of chalices. But you're going to still be a little too standoffish, not knowing what to do here. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You're going to try and see the positive perspective of it, but um, you're going to be weighing out... <clears throat> Feel like you're going to be thinking too much and weighing things out um but somebody does want to reconnect with you and they're going to come towards you this is like a very straight message straightforward message the root of the problem could be that you're not very open to it but you are willing to talk things out work through things but yeah I know I said that earlier that you were very open to it, but I feel like it's more of if we talk things out, then okay. But if we have an understanding, give me more of this openness. See, there is a boundary there. <clears throat> Again, we have wanting to work things out, but there is a boundary there. There is a new beginning here in love for you. But it's like something here is blocking it. If it's with this person. So you're thinking a lot more about yourself. But you also don't want to revisit the past anymore. It's like you've leveled up. You've learned from it. And you're not willing to go back. Backwards. Um, <clears throat> also I'm getting. There might have been a. There might have been a third party here or maybe you're you're thinking of maybe just moving forward with someone else if that's not you then don't make it yours of course if you don't have someone else it's not your story but um you could have more than one one choice here that's why you're stepping a step you're taking a step back and really rethinking because you don't want to revisit in the past it could be someone at work <clears throat> give me more of this opposites opposites attract of course don't have a lot in common this is how they see you but to them it doesn't even matter that of chalices So yeah, somebody's going to come towards you here. Usually this gives me a different vibe, but of course to me, the card changes with other cards influencing it. So I feel like they are going to come towards you. You see the two of cups? I'm going to turn around to a rainbow here. We have two cups here, two cups. Of course, this is temperance, meeting you halfway agreeing to disagreeing kind of thing reconciling things <clears throat> let's see for them let's see what's this new perspective oh. 
Eight of Cups wants to pop out, leaving past baggage behind. Give me more of this new perspective. Yep, a new perspective. They've also been thinking a lot about about you wanting to come towards this Virgo. Offering offering a um, fresh start, I'm feeling. Learning. They've also learned and thought about the past, how everything's played out. Give me more on this target. Lucky. Sorry about that. The chariot. Knight of Wands. Yep, target. They're going to come towards you because uh, I'm feeling like if there was a third party, they're going to leave it behind. They don't really care. They are seeing things in a way different perspective now. Um, if they were moving forward, they're turning around here. Mm -hmm. They're wanting to talk. Or they're wanting to hold you back because they... They do want to talk things out here. Lucky. Sorry about my dog. Let's see. Give me more on this twin flame. Maybe you've gone through a lot of cycles with this person already. Or this person is also learning about a twin flame journey. Um, yeah. I feel like this person behind closed doors, they can sense it. They probably haven't even told you, but they can kind of get that feeling. They're getting that feeling that, yeah, this is someone that that feels like I've known them before. Or they feel stuck as well. But they're, how do I say it? They're trying to not admit that... They feel stuck without you. Give me more of this love strike. I am clarifying the twin flames, okay? So I have a lot of tarot police visiting my channel. <laughs> so give me more of this love strike. Mm, see, six of wands. They realize that they love your attention and the six of challenges, see? They love your attention. They are also realizing how much of a fool they were. And not recognizing that you both were twin flames. Even though you both are so different, they can recognize that how much they played games here. Somebody here was playing a lot of games. Yep, let's get into their thoughts. What are their thoughts regarding Virgo Spur guys? I will come back for you. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. We have a lot of cards indicating them coming back. We're not right for each other, see? Because they feel, they're trying to convince themselves that both of you are so opposite from each other. See the bear and the person here. It all comes down to timing. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the right time. I scared myself that day. Okay, what does this mean? Why is I scared myself that day? It's going to be different for everyone, but let's see what we get. King of Pentacles. Oh. This person tried to... Turn their back away. And they got stressed about it. Or somebody here turned their back. It could have been you. And they got kind of scared that you were actually going to leave. Or you're not, you weren't really going to um, let them back in. There was something here that really did scare them. Like maybe... You weren't going to let them back in. That's what I'm getting with this. Because look at this is scared. 
a scared person praying um, tied up in their thoughts and then someone's turning their back here the other one's just looking like really even if they if they called off the situation and said no I like or they broke it off with you they actually scared themselves that's what I'm getting there oh I do see earth signs um, Gemini there bottom of the deck so the challenge is to confront you and talk things through get on the same page kind of thing give me more um, for Virgos advice for Virgos for lines don't ignore the red flags mm, that's okay overlooking their bad behavior in your partner because you really want things to work out can cost you later take off the blinders and deal with it head on so yeah don't let them come back without talking things through without dealing with it okay because it kind of seems like they will come back though they want to come back but it could be still remain the same without anything solid here okay so you want to you don't want to ignore the red flags because you could be open for it you know vulnerable and willing to forgive them for some of you don't want to so you're really paying attention to their bad behavior towards you but i was catching on to someone that is paying attention is not ignoring the red flags here but some of you this is your guidance and if you're already doing this then you're on the right path with this person okay so that is what i have let's <clears throat> Let's see what we get. The signs. We have all signs here. We do have a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces. It could be another Virgo, of course. I have all signs here. Leo, Sag, Cancer, Gemini, Sag again. Yep. And all signs. That's Earth, Water, Air fire yeah that is all i have i hope this felt like it resonated thank you so much again and take care of you mm, bye